So I don't know what it is guys, but one thing I can tell you about ranked season so far is that I have yet to play a full game. Well, actually that's not true. I've only played one full game so far on ranked seasons. I am currently 12-2 and two and I'm in the wild card division. One of my losses was from a freeze. I have one legitimate loss, which actually came from uh, earlier today. I actually, well, I conceded the, the game. The guy hit four in one inning. Four late or just late home runs. And I was just like, no, no. On inside pitches, takes them the opposite way for bombs. I just, I was like, no, not dealing with that crap. Not deal with it. I don't know. So one thing I've noticed about playing this game thus far is, I don't know, there's some really weird things going on with the hitting in this game. See, so in last year's game, that really didn't happen too much. You know, you get beat inside. I got beat. I beat a guy today in that game that I actually conceded defeat. I beat a guy inside with a slider and with, who the hell was it? Reggie Jackson. He hits an opposite field bomb. I don't even mean like a, a wall scraper. It was like a 440 foot opposite field shot when he was late on an inside curveball. And it wasn't even a strike. It was inside. It was ridiculous. And I was just like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, here I was uh, using a bunch of players here. I haven't uh, put, done any ranked seasons in a while, mainly because, you know, the servers have not been working, and I've been pretty uh, busy this past week. So that's another thing that I want to talk about, besides just the uh, very weird hitting in this game. I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what the hell is going on with it, but I realize it's like, so many times I get, like, perfect freaking contact on the ball. It's like reticle centered on the ball or right underneath it or right over it and timing, green timing, and what is it? It's an out, most, no, not most of the time, but a lot of the times it's an out, and then what, my opponents get these very late swings, and they hit doubles and home runs occasionally, and late swing home runs, it's just my freaking mind, and it's driving me freaking crazy, it's kind of hard for me to take it seriously, I don't know if that's going to change when I get into a higher division, and they maybe start putting it on Hall of Fame hitting, I don't know, hopefully, if that's the case, I hope to get to a to a um, division that has Hall of Fame hitting soon. My guess is it won't happen until you get to the championship series. So I have a couple more tiers to climb before I get there, but I'm hoping that when it's in Hall of Fame mode, you won't see as many of those late home runs and uh, very late home runs and doubles and stuff like that. It's like, look, I can deal with you giving them like dinky hits or maybe like a, a weak fly ball down the line. Maybe the guy was like perfect on it and he was just late, maybe a wall scraping home run, but these bomb home runs, is absolutely ridiculous. There are some, there are lots of bugs that actually San Diego Studios has to work out in the game. You know, it is what it is. The game's out. You know, not for too long. It's only been what three weeks right now. I mean, the servers definitely should be running better. But when it comes to you know some balancing and tweaking, I'm sure they can do those things. You know, edit whatever it is, the, the sliders on the game that they can do. I, I don't even know what it is. Oh, Freddie Freeman is a bomb. Hits a bomb. Freddie Freeman is a Fantastic, a fantastic list to me. A fantastic card. It's one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards actually in last year's game. And I'm going to tell you guys, he is going to be a diamond. He is going to be a diamond card within, I'm going to say, by June 1st, he's a diamond card. So spend your money on Freddie Freeman right about now because he's going to be a diamond card. He's not going to be as cheap as, as he is now. You can get him for like 18k in the market, I think. Maybe a little bit cheaper than that. So I'm going to say between 15 and 18k. Go put out a buy order for him. Try to get him now because he is going to be super, super expensive very, very soon. That is my uh, my absolute guess. So, one thing I do need to talk about is I, I, I've done a Well, I have done. I haven't really been streaming, so there's been a lack of streaming on my channel over the past week or so. I just, I've had a lot going on, guys. I haven't really been able to find too much time to be able to sit down and play for a few hours, you know, and and when I have had a little bit of time, I haven't really been in the mood or it's not at the optimal time to stream. I mean, like, there were a couple times where I could have streamed for like an hour and a half, but it would have been like 6 a.m. in the morning and I was like, oh, I don't really want to do that and I don't think there'd be too many people there to watch it, so that's why I haven't been doing that. So, right now, I figured I can record some gameplays and do some commentaries on them, like this one right here. I'm just going to just pretty much ramble over this and just say some things because these are two games that opponents wound up quitting on me and uh so this, this game they like this one probably pretty much ends right after this i think i hit a home run here with brian dozier is that what we do uh oh, dozier's gonna hit a home run here i think it's a ridiculous i don't know is this the opposite field home run all right yeah i think i hit an opposite field home run here and i'm pretty sure i had good timing on this one i don't think i was late because it was a pretty nice shot it looked like to me let's see we're gonna find out in a second 
You'll find out in a second. No, I was I didn't have it quite centered, but um, I did have good timing on it. It was in my reticle. It's got a home run on it. I probably could have centered it a little bit more, but whatever. It was good timing. It was inside. It was it was good. So this guy, you know, he was like, I'm done. I'm done. So um, you see, I'm using Bob Feller here. So I'm trying to get the seven strikeouts with rookie pitchers in a ranked seasons or event game or you know battle royale trying to do that right now with the uh, rookie pitchers i think it has the rookie starting pitchers for do the that chris chris archer thing it's because it's the it's i only have two more things to do i have to get like um uh, rookie wins and i have to get um whatchamacallit it's his rookie wins and then yeah so it's, it's like nine rookie wins against cpu I think I have five of them, and then I have to get the seven strikeouts, and I complete the uh, Archer program, which would be nice. You get some stubs, some tickets, and you get that rookie Archer card, what, which isn't that good, to be honest. But I'm sure they're going to have some rookie events at some point where you're only going to use rookies. Same thing, they're going to only use veterans, only going to use hardware. They're going to have like events like that. Is my That's my guess. So it's good to you know get these cards as it comes. Maybe it's going to be like, oh, it's an NL East showdown or an AL East showdown, and you can only use players from these divisions. So I think it's good to, you know, really hold on to collections here when it comes to what they're going to do for events. So trying to complete that. Do I've been doing some uh, missions. I mean, mostly I've been doing um, CPU games. I'm trying to get some epic cards, trying to uh, complete co collections. There, there was like the other day I was playing, and pretty much I wasn't even really playing. I was going into the market and just trying to make – money on my stubs. I did, and I finished out the Texas Rangers collection, uh, pretty much. So I made some money, and then I got you Darvish, who was going for a ton of stubs, man. I was I was waiting out on him, because he was at like 15k the other day, and then he was at 19 today, and the second he dropped down to 16, I hopped on that immediately. And I put in a buy order for like 16 or something, and uh, was able to get him, and then I was able to uh, close that out, because I, I, I packed Beltre twice early um, on in the, uh, the life cycle of the, uh, of the game. So I don't know what the hell this guy was doing, <laughs> but th this this game was actually pretty funny. And I got a Freddie Freeman here again, guys. Like I said, you got you need to get Freddie Freeman because he's an absolute monster. And for whatever reason, people like to pitch him down. And pretty much a lot of times, you'll see with me a Freddie Freeman because he has that whole bottom of the zone, and really, really his whole strike zone is 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 hot zone. But a lot of players just like to live at the bottom part of the zone, and they have predictable. I just wait. I wait for something generally low. Especially that's what the pitcher is doing the whole time. And this is a, look at this bomb. Wait, does it get caught? Oh, this one gets caught. But whatever, it was good contact, I'm pretty sure. Forget what the hell happened in this game. Oh, I remember what happened in this game. So this one was actually, you know, pretty close. I don't know why the hell this guy quit, to be honest with you. I mean, I think I uh, strike out the side with, with Mr. Bob Feller here. And Bob Feller actually had the uh, start when I was talking about when I was playing that game where the guy hit the uh, four late or very late home runs on me. Which was really frustrating. <laughs> How do you get beat inside with anything and then take it the opposite way for a home run? That that just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. If it was on the outside part of the plate, I can have you know, I could get that. I'd be like, alright. You know, I'd still be annoyed with it, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. But there's no way you can beat somebody inside where the ball's not even completely on the plate and they hit an opposite field dinger on you. It's ridiculous. They even sometimes even hit them. Like, to, like, a left-hander would hit to, like, left center. It's nuts. Nuts. And sometimes not even guys that are, like, power hitters. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, I do like this Bob Feller rookie card, though. He, he is, his control is pretty garbage. I mean, I'm probably going to have to switch over to analog pitching really soon. But he, I've actually, I think in this game, I was actually able to dial it up to 100 miles per hour there, which is uh, pretty damn sweet. 100 miles per hour in, uh, in, what, Baltimore right here we're playing in? I know when you're in Coors Field, everyone throws a little bit harder. So you, you see that there with, uh, with a decent amount of pitchers, but usually you don't see starting pitchers throw 100 in this game. I think Syndergaard can occasionally do it. And I was able to do it here with uh, Feller a couple times, I believe. And Trout was just late on this one. Then they're going to strike, uh, strike him out. And then this guy is going to... So <laughs> I don't know if I want to spoil it. Do I want to spoil it for you guys? He does quit in the in the next half inning. He, he quits in the... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Got him here looking. So he's going to actually wind up quitting here. So who's up now? Right, we got Cespedes up. I'm pretty sure I don't do much with Cespedes here. Cespedes should be Cespedes. Yeah, just ground out. One thing I have to say, I don't always follow my, my advice, but one thing I have to say is that you should be uh, patient to play. So here's the, um, this is the All-Star Griffey card. So I have to get the, you know, the, what's it, 11 home runs and, or 10 home runs and 22 RBIs in 30 games. I don't know if that's going to happen. 
people are quitting on me all the time, which is really uh, making that harder to do. I wish it was... That was a bad swing. I wish they kind of did it by innings rather than games. You know, or... I don't know. So just something. Something. If, like, players quit, they should take that in consideration, but they don't. So, there's all those things here. But I think I am actually going to hit a dinger here with Griffey right now. I think it's, like, low and... Yeah, it's low and outside and just ripped. He has a ton of freaking power. He's not a... He's a pretty... Bad fielder, honestly. He's probably best suited for left field, not right field. So I'm probably going to switch him and, and Cespedes. But look, I was right on that ball. Nothing to be mad about this one. But the, the, this this guy actually is going to quit right after here because Brian Dozier is going to hit this ridiculous home run. Watch this shit. You know what the hell he was swinging at. Look at the ball physics. Look where the ball was. Look at this. That was insane. I think my timing was actually good and my reticle was on it, but that was a really bad pitch to hit. Look at that. Good timing, I was right on it, and he's just like, I'm done. I'm done. Alright guys, do me a favor, if you want to see more videos like this, until I'm able to stream again, let me know guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all soon. Later.